Is there anything that you've heard from the coroner or from Khaled that has given you comfort about those last minutes? I mean, for Khaled, I asked him, I said, you know, did he talk, did he say anything? And he, he just said, help me. And that's all he remembers. He says, help me. And then he remembers him putting his hand behind his head and then closed his eyes. And poor Khaled's got this in his mind constantly. Khaled went to reach for Christopher and hold his hand. He goes, I held his hand until they removed me from there. And um, he says I couldn't, couldn't have done anything. He goes, I couldn't even pull, pull him towards me. I couldn't do anything because he was totally underneath. So another, you know, Khaled's got to live with that vision constantly. He's in God's hands now. Yeah. He's an angel with the Lord. And that's what we what we believe and what gives us peace. It's still hard not having him here, but to know that, you know, we'll be united one day. It's good. Patricia, where do you get the strength to stand up, talk to a crowd of people about this a month after your son's death? I don't want my son to have died in vain. Um, and I don't want it to happen to any other family ever, 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 ever. You know, um, I've spoken to other mums who've lost children in job sites and they're still fighting for seven years, seven odd years more, just to get justice for their sons. I want to make everyone aware. And, you know, Christopher created a tsunami of um, fear among a lot of workers. I'm sure that on the Tuesday, a lot of workers, especially on his job site, were too afraid to even go to work the next day um, because it's something that hangs on them all the time. I've had messages come to me saying, I have a son that's in the trade and now I fear for their life. And and I said, well, that's got to stop. No one should be in fear of sending their loved ones to work. No one ever, ever should go through what we're going through. But you expect sending your child to work that they're going to be OK. That they'll so come home. They'll come home. And that's what, you know, that's what we have, we're here for now. And my strength is to make sure that People are aware, and because Christopher affected so many people, I need to rise and be his voice now, not later, while it's still, people are still feeling Christopher, and to make them realise that they're not alone. They're not alone. They do, they do have rights and they do have to speak up for the safety of themselves so that they can go see their mums or their wives or their children. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.